I know for me, um, I was involved with the church early on after just becoming a Christian, and it always bothered me that when I brought my friends, you know, to the church, that um, that they were just not really impressed with it. The music didn't connect with them. The message maybe wasn't geared towards them. They didn't understand some of it. And so I remember at that point thinking, boy, if I ever get a chance to lead a ministry that I want to help make it a place where my friends who don't know Christ and are not churchgoers could go and feel loved and feel respected and get some of their questions answered. And so really our goal is to build that type of environment and that type of community where people can just enter into it and see how the Christian life is lived out. And we work hard at connecting with people uh, with where they're at. It's at a bar a country western bar. It's kind of awkward at first, but once once you you get into everything, once you feel it out, it's it's awesome. The darker setting is more like I can just come in and check this out without having to be on the spotlight or everybody asking me questions or making me feel bad about my past or what I've come from. There's a number of ways that we can communicate a message, and that's visually through visual arts that's through our music. Music, um, many young people would say music is their religion. And so it's a way that we can communicate the message there um, through drama, uh, the atmosphere, the way we set it up, the PowerPoint, the multimedia. There's basically a lot of sensory experiences that are going on. And so it's more than just uh, the traditional speaker shares with the listeners, but that it's an overall experience where all of it um, communicates the message in a way that someone of a postmodern mindset would be able to understand and be able to, to take away and ponder and think about. I think it's a real attraction that people desire real relationships. They're tired of, of the fake clubs that they're going to, just meeting people, one night stands. Uh, they're looking for people who really care and who are going to be there when their life isn't so good. Everybody wants to be your friend when when your life's going great, nobody has to give you anything, but when it's hard and you really need somebody, that's, that's when you find out who your real friends are. And I think with H2O, uh, you see a lot of people who are really genuinely care about people and who, who are going to um, uh, care about the, the real problems and not just the good things about people's lives. It's one of the best things that happened to me in a long time. I mean, I could go there and I'd pour my heart out to it anybody and everybody and you know they're just they're there to help I grew up with only a mother you know so I haven't really had a family and you guys make me feel like like family and it's it's a good feeling to have finally you know It's not like, oh man, it's Sunday, I gotta get up again and go to church. It's like, man, it's Thursday, let's go.